Illegal immigrants deported from the United States have been arriving back in Guatemala and Honduras this week in the wake of Trump's order to keep immigrant families together. Pictures show migrants hugging as the Ramon Valida Morales Airport in San Pedro Sula, 125 miles north of the Honduran capital Tegucigalpa, after being sent home from America. A total of 238 Honduran citizens have been deported in the midst of a crackdown by the administration. They said they returned home with their hands, feet and waist chained. Honduran immigrant Ever Sierra, 28, showed off two little shoes that belonged to his baby girl after being deported from the U.S. and arriving in San Pedro Sula. Ever was separated from his wife, Iris Yanath, 26, and their eight-month daughter to be locked up in a detention center in McAllen, Texas, and then in Louisiana before being deported. President Trump signed an executive order this week halting the practice of separating immigrant children from their parents as part of his zero-tolerance policy for those who enter the United States illegally. A group of 108 Guatemalan immigrants who were deported after they tried to cross illegally into the United States arrived at an Air Force base in Guatemala City. Meanwhile dozens of women and their children, many from Honduras, Guatemala and El Salvador, arrived at a bus station following release from Customs and Border Protection in McAllen. In all, about 9,000 immigrants traveling in family groups have been caught on the border in each of the last three months, according to federal authorities. The Navy has developed a plan to build and operate temporary and austere tent cities, including several in Alabama that would hold 25,000 people each. The plans anticipate a request by the Department of Homeland Security, which has been implementing the Trump administration's zero-tolerance immigration policy at the border once families and individuals are released and given a court hearing date some are brought to the Catholic Charities Humanitarian Respite Center. Share this article Share the Respite Center was set up by Sister Norma Pimentel, who for the last 15 years has been the executive director of Catholic Charities of the Rio Grande Valley. The 64-year-old first opened the shelter at the nearby Sacred Heart Catholic Church in 2014 during the surge of unaccompanied Central American children across the border. The center is about the size of a modest daycare, and the organization is hoping to raise $3 million for a permanent home in McAllen. We speculate that one of the reasons we're still receiving people is because they don't have the capacity to hold them," spokeswoman Brenda Rio Haas told The Atlantic. In an abrupt U-turn on his own administration's policy, the president directed the Department of Homeland Security to detain families together so long as children are not put into danger. I didn't like the sight or the feeling of families being separated, the president on Wednesday stated. President Trump indicated that lobbying from his daughter Ivanka, who showed him pictures of the caged and kennel children and wife Melania had caused him to have a change in position 